Hi everyone and welcome. This is a bonus video for the week. I will still have a regular wood turning video uh, at the end of the week, Saturday or Sunday. Uh, sharing this video of a serving tray I made and I apologize because I lost the footage of actually doing the resin pour. Um, but I'm sure you guys have seen that a million times. So um, this is my first time using this new mold that I have. And even though I'm struggling with it, um, just trying to figure it out, um, I, it's an amazing mold. I'm very glad I got it. I will put a link down in the description um, for where I got it. It's from Jeff Mack Designs. Well worth the money. Had zero leaks. Um, which when I build a form, it seems like I get a leak somewhere. I like the idea of not having to build a form every time. So. So if I look like I'm struggling here, it's just me figuring it out. It's not that hard to use at all. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that like button, the thumbs up button. It really helps me out. And if you're not subscribed already, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. It really helps the channel and it helps YouTube uh, get my videos in front of more people. So thank you in advance for that. And thank you to all of my already current subscribers. I know many, many of you have been with me for a long time uh, and I very much appreciate that. So after the side is removed, um, using a putty knife to just kind of break the, the, the seal there with the silicone, uh, you do still use silicone in this particular mold. So if you happen to get one, don't forget to do that. And it's coming out. There it is. So happy with the way it turned out in the mold. And now I'm going to put it through the thickness planer. Um, this is DeWalt's thickness planer. Uh, I, I will link it and everything else I used in the video description. Some of the links are affiliate links, some are not. I really like this DeWalt one because it, it's a good uh, in-between, I think, between the, the very smaller models and then the professional type models. So after planing it, um, drawing some uh, pencil marks uh, because I'm going to put it through the drum sander. And I sanded from 80 all the way up to 220 on the drum sander. And then I hand sanded 320 and 400. This drum sander is the Laguna 1938. This saves so much time. If you're on the fence about buying one, just buy it. You'll wish you had done it sooner. Some butcher block oil here, um, just rubbing it in by hand and you can see that grain pop. This is black walnut and a greenish blue resin. I will link it in the description. It's from, um, it's an eye candy brand pigment. So some photos here at the end. Let me know what you think in the comments. A little chamfer on the bottom and some unique candles. It measures approximately 23 and a half inches uh, in length and 11 and three quarters uh, wide. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, share the video if you feel so inclined and until Saturday or Sunday, peace out.